Hola, this is Sharon, and I want to tell you about a challenge and also show you what I made for the challenge. So this challenge is by MC, and her channel is MCCPLG on YouTube. She also has a blog spot with that same name. And this is for her 1,000 plus subby giveaway and challenge. And what she would like is for us to make an address card that she's going to put on a seven gypsies, I guess it was like for photos, but she's turned it into an address card holder. And you have to make the card seven and a quarter inches long by five inches wide and you need to leave a half inch margin on the left side so she can hang it up on the uh, holder, the metal holder. I don't know what else you call it. <laughs> and if you leave one comment, you get a point for that. And if you leave a comment on her blog, you'll get a point for that. And you do a video about her challenge, you'll get points for that. If you do the project and do a video response you get a point and if you send it to her you get more points so I will put her link to her video in my description box so you can go and see all of the details and she shows examples and everything now mine aren't as pretty as mine one one is not as pretty as hers but I gave it my best shot and I tried to put what is my favorite style, which I don't know what it's called, a mishmash, <laughs> but this is what I've done. Um, so this is the margin she will punch right here. And you, you need to use at least three stamps, so I've got the Greeting Farm stamp. And since lilac and purple are my favorite colors, I used a lot of that color. You know I love owls, so I got this sticker from someone, I didn't write the name on there. So whoever gave me this, I thank you so much, and I'm using it. And my stamp here says, the only way to have a friend is to be one. And it's by Ralph Waldo, and I don't know what that last name is. I'm blind, I tell you. Oh, Emerson. And I'll show you the stamp set. I forgot to grab that, darn it. But I will bring it over and show you. So I stamped that on some paper that has lines on it. And then I cut it out. And then I put hello. Because I'm just getting to know MC. So I use this beautiful lace. This one I got, I believe, from Excalibur Nation. And this one I got from Maggie May, Maggie Milo, something like that. And I've lost track of where she is. This I had in my stash. And this paper is like the last of this paper pack that is so gorgeous. And I f forgot to pull out what the name of it is. So I will put that in the description. And then I got this from Laura. And this from... Louisa, and then on this from Louisa, and then the rest from my stash, and then I had this in my stash. So I blinged it up. Sprayed the flowers. So it's a little busy, but you want to keep the bulky stuff to this side, away from the margin where she's going to connect it on her I think it, it'll move like this. She'll have, and you'll see in her video what it looks like. Oh, I got covered that. Let's see. Um, you put your personal information on the back. So here's another stamp. From one craftaholic to another. And I got that from Beth. Hi, Beth. And she's Beth's scrapbook room. And then a butterfly here I put. So I didn't do a whole lot on the back because... I don't want it so bulky she won't be able to fit other cards on there. Mine will take the whole thing up. But that's what I made. Let me show you the stamp sets I used. Let me go get that. Yeah. 
did I put them? Here they are. Well, the one for the hello, I don't remember where I put it, but this is the stamp set, and this is the stamp, and it's um, friendship sentiments. Sentiments for friendships or birthdays. Don't ask me the name of it. Was that Joanne's? So this is the one I used here for that. And then this is what Beth gave me. And here's the from one craftaholic to another. And the hello, I, I can't remember which one I pulled that from. Okay, so I hope you will all join in. And remember, her name is MCCPLG on YouTube here. And I'm bringing back my Yiddish. So you can stop now if you're not interested. And go head over to MC's channel. For those of you who have liked learning some Yiddish, I'm going to do two words today. So the first one is Shane. And that means beautiful or handsome or nice fine and I think they say it like Shane Madel so like a, a a beautiful boy or a handsome boy they'll say and when it's a girl they say Shane the Madela so this is for a boy and then the other one is was machst du was machst du how are you but what it literally means is what are you doing so, was machst du? So that K-H is like a ch. Machst du? Was machst du? Okay. Hopefully I didn't do these already. Usually I put a date on them once I've shared them. So there are your two new Yiddish words. Shane and was machst du? Okay, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'm still killing off a paper pack for Laura, so when I get that all done, I'll share that. <laughs> okay, thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.